you're dealing with children whose language is different from yours. Yeah. What did they speak? Haitian Creole. Okay, and you spoke uh, uh, Louisiana. <laughs> English. Haitian <laughs> English. All right. Now, you needed to talk to them. Yeah. But you couldn't. Right. Did you have something else strange? Things happen, I need to know. I did, I did. <laughs> what happened? So, well, um, and like I said, I mean, God just continued to confirm that I should be there. And after being there for about six weeks, I went back to the States and um, just made, had, a, had one prayer. I said, Lord, if I'm supposed to stay over there, I've got to be able to communicate with these people. This is too difficult. And the kids would come up and just speak so fast, I couldn't understand anything. And so I, I went back um, to Haiti a few weeks later and decided to go back up to the mountain because I knew I would see Mika, um, the little girl who was throwing mm -hmm. rocks. That's where she lived. And I went back up there expecting her to speak super fast Creole and she started speaking and I could understand everything she was saying. And I thought, wait a second, what, are you speaking English or am I speaking, what is this? And so I asked her to repeat what she said and then um, I understood what she was saying. And so I ran down the mountain to go meet some of my friends that, uh, Haitian pastor and his wife and some other friends that were Haitian. And I started speaking to them and they said, did you go to language school for two weeks? What did you do? And I just said, no, I, I don't know. And they stood up immediately and they knew, you know, they said, you know, praise God, praise God. And Do you understand this is a New Testament miracle in the book of Acts? That's exactly, that is exactly what happened. Now, the whole story is a miracle on this mountain. All right, so now you're talking to them. I want to know what happened for the kids that you're doing, a girl that wasn't sent there by anybody but God who couldn't possibly do it. Tell me what's happened. Um, so, yes, yeah, so now with um, seeing all these kids that weren't in school, we started a school and it grew um, from January of 2011 with 97 kids to we just um, started in October of 2014, this new school year, we have about 500 children. Wow. Isn't that great? And so it's Do you amazing. understand the miracle of that? That is a miracle. I mean, you've got kids that she couldn't even talk to. Yeah. And you're feeding them? We're feeding them. They get two meals a day. Um, we, <laughs> That's so great. Yeah, we feed them breakfast and lunch. We um, source everything locally. So we make our own bread, our own peanut butter. <laughs> we get eggs locally. And um, we've built 14 classrooms. And so they all are in their classrooms. Who helped you build yeah, them? I was going to say, did you find, somebody <laughs> finally found out that you were there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Somebody come looking for After you? about five months ago, <laughs> they started having some friends. Um, yeah, we did have some people that came and helped. We actually had an um, American builder Kyle Fishburne who came from California and he moved down there for two years actually Wow! and he built um, our 14 wow. classrooms. Thank you Kyle. Yeah, thank yeah. You. <laughs> and then um, we just recently this finished so our medical clinic and so we have a 6,500 square foot medical clinic that serves our staff of <laughs> over a hundred and our 500 kids wow. and their families. I want to tell you something now <laughs> listen to me and all of you here this is a miracle yeah. and I knew when I was watching it it, it makes no sense <laughs> I mean you know it's just God. Now, here's what I want you to see. What, what, if they want to know your website because they say, hey, I can build. I'll come mm -hmm. do a little bit more, you know, refurbishing or updating or adding on. Mm -hmm. How would they find you on the website? Yes. Um, the, or, the name of my organization is called Respire Haiti. And so the uh, website is respirehaiti.org. And what does that mean? Respire means to breathe.